Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm glad you're here again. Um, we're going to get back on that bar stock engine here in just a little bit. But uh, before we get started on that, this one came into the shop and uh, kind of an interesting engine. It's a hot air engine. There's no markings on it. Can't tell for sure, but it looks like a, a discontinued PM Research or a solar engine. And, uh, well, show you guys what we got going on here. So you can see it's locked up. I could turn the flywheel, but it's just slipping on the axle. It doesn't want to turn. So I guess before we get back into that uh, bar stock engine, I'm going to do something to this one. And, uh, yeah, I always tell you guys, don't oil hot air engines. They don't like it. You can oil them up here, but not down in the cylinders. Yeah, well, we need to oil this one. So let me grab this can of Croil over here. We're going to squirt some down in there and let it go to work. We'll put it back over here on the outside of the bench. And just uh, I'll let this Croil do its job. So... All right, well, we'll let that sit in there. I'll get stuff moved around. We'll get that bar stock engine sitting right back here. We'll get to work. Okay, guys, well, we've got this bar stock engine laying up here. And, uh, well, you guys probably hopefully remember where we left off. So let's get this out of the way. And I was thinking, you know, maybe what we ought to do before we go ahead and paint it is let's complete our repairs. We'll reassemble it the way it is. You know, well, we still got to put it. You know, drill this, put our grub screws in, and when we were going to make our upgrade from, you know, these bronze bushings to putting ball bearings in, and we're going to put two of them in. You know, these little fellers here. Focus. So, yeah, we're going to put two of these little guys in, and I will knock the, the seal out of the inside so we can still utilize our oil cups here. So they're drilled clean through. Yeah. Still struggling with focus issues, guys. But it happens, I suppose. And uh, we can't get our alignment set on our crank until we have everything else put in. So let's take a look at our cylinder here. We've already got our piston fitted with an O-ring. There you go. So we're good to go there. And we have trued up the bore in our cylinder. So we're good to go there. And it was, uh, I don't know if I even said anything about it. It was almost like it was hourglass shape. Where it was true on the ends. And the closer we got to the center, the thinner it became. So now it is true from both ends to three quarters of an inch. We did that with that ring. So we need to make gaskets. Because we're, well... We're going away from using silicone. So I'll get that cleaned up. And normally what we would do would be just, once this was cleaned up, stamp this onto an ink pad and then put it on our gasket material. But that's not going to work because we have this register here on the inside lip. Well, that'll tell us where we need to cut it. Look at that crap. That'll tell us where we need to cut the center out, but that's not going to line our holes up. Normally that wouldn't be an issue, but I don't think these are all 90 degrees away from one another. So I don't think it's quite laid out right because the head will only fit one direction. So, but that's not a big deal. All right, we're going to use this side. We'll stamp this, get our studs out, and then we'll stamp this. That'll tell us where we need to cut our holes. We can get it really simple. All right. Okay. So to get this stud out, we're going to use the double nut method. Where you back this one up against that. And that protects your threads. So we'll get these tightened down. And then we're going to take this bottom nut. And we'll unthread it. And with any luck, that stud will follow it all the way out. 
So that's how we're going to do it. I'm sure you guys know that, but some guys maybe not. So, all right, that's what we're going to do. And we'll get all four of these studs out, get this all cleaned off, and uh, go from there. Show you guys once I get these studs out. We'll get a, a stamping of it. I'll lay it out on a piece of gasket material, and then uh, you guys can pretty much figure it out. You don't need to see all this unless you really, really need to. And then leave me a comment. We can go through it a little bit more in depth. But All right, let me get busy. Well, look at that, guys. I owe the editing department a, a cold beverage after this. You made this look like it was a no-time-at-all task. Well, we've got ours gasket for our front and our gasket for our rear cover. So, all right, I guess there's nothing to it now. I got to put studs back in there. We'll start reassembling it back here onto our uh, onto our base plate. And uh, if we're going to be tearing this back down to paint it, it's not going to be a big deal. But I'll make sure everything's good to go. No sense in going back in and you know digging and scratching paint up. So we're going to reassemble this and uh, probably just shove those flywheels back on. And uh, we'll take them back off. And you guys will get to see me, you know, do the machine work to drill and tap those so we can put set screws in it. But, all right. Well, let me get busy. I'll get this stuff moved. I'll start putting that cylinder back on. Well, there we are, guys. We've got our studs back in, front and rear. We'll take our rear cylinder cover, gasket. We'll get him slid on here, and uh, we'll mount it up there to our base. This real thin gasket material, so kind of be a little bit of a struggle, but it was on there, so it should line up. We'll get that on there. I'll get it slid on, and uh, we'll move on to the front side. So we can't put the front cover on. We got to slide our piston in and get our crosshead guides mounted here to the back and get this mounted back on there a little bit of work to do guys but we'll get her done in this video and hopefully we'll have it uh, chugging along without a knock and then i'll blow it apart and maybe we'll take a look at this one here and see if it came loose so. well there we are we've got our cylinder mounted back in there We've got all of our studs tied, except the top, you know, and bottom ones, because those are what uh, he chose to support them. So, let's uh, get our piston stuck in there. And this is just going to be a little bit of steam oil. This is what has something to start with. And, yes, we've already taken the gland packing nut off the back side back here. So, we don't have to worry about tearing that up. That's something else we're going to have to repack. That'll be all right. That fits so nice in there. It's a good fit. All right. Well, let me get this cleaned up here in the front. Get that excess steam oil off of there. And uh, we'll get our cylinder head mounted. Continue putting this together. It's looking more and more like an engine the more we put on here. This is kind of what we're going for, isn't it? All right, we're gonna try these silicone steam grade O-rings for packing back here in the back. We gotta get that on before we can get our, well, remember we guys we modified all this? You guys remember that? That's gotta go on before we can put that on. And we still gotta get our crosshead slide supports on and then our rear one. We can, Put our crank on there and over here i've noticed this because well we haven't dug into the steam chest yet but this is uh it looks like just sewing thread but i, don't know, I guess we'll see what happens <laughs> like i said the deeper we dig the more we find all right let me get another one of these on here we'll oil that up we'll put our packing nut back on and uh, get going. We'll get these crosshead supports mounted. See what we end up with, guys. I want to see this thing run tonight, so 
hopefully you guys don't get too bored by watching this, but I'm going to stick with it. So, all right, I'll get busy. We have our crosshead mounted. We have our supports mounted. We need to mount our tail support. And if you guys remember in that, uh, well, the last video, these were nutted from underneath. So we'll get this flipped over, get this bolted in, make sure all these line up the way they're supposed to. And well, so far, I think we're good. So, all right, let me get this bolted down, get this bolted in, and then we're going to uh, see what we can do when it comes to setting our crank in and probably just go ahead and put these ball bearings in because we're going to have to check it anyways, right? So, all right, let me get this bolted in. There we are. We're all supported on our cross head now. I think we're good, but well, the bottom of our studs down here, they're not all equal length. So it's going to sit there and rock. You know, it doesn't take, it doesn't take much. So I'm going to set it back on the base. We'll put the screws back in. It just feels like deja vu. It feels like I just tore this thing apart to take it and fix it. But let's get it set back on the base. Then we'll do our crank. There it is, set back on its uh, very much just uh, well, it's just a base. It's nothing fancy. I mean, it's square cut and whatnot. It works. We'll probably dig back into that. We have to make sure that it's narrow enough back in the back for clearance on our flywheels, but you know, we'll get there. We gotta have it run first, right? Let's get our crank up here. We'll get it lined up to where it wants to ride. We'll get our bearings slid on. And uh, I'll pull you guys in closer. That way you guys can see what the hell we're doing. All right. Let me get you guys moved. You guys are a bit of an odd angle. But hopefully you guys can see and keep my hand out of your way. We'll slide two of these bearings on here. They're a nice fit. And they fit well down here in our supports. We'll get them slid on. It's probably going to bite me in the butt. I got a feeling we're going to be digging back into here. But we'll slip them through. Better take our bolt back out of here first. Let me get that out. I thought I'd show you guys this. Um, what I did here was this is a. A shouldered bolt now so we don't have threads bearing on those bearings we have a uh, well, let me get this out and I'll show you guys so we have a clearance hole on this side it's threaded over here and we put a nut on there to lock it but come on camera there You guys see how that's shouldered and not threaded all the way down. All right, now let's drop our crank in, see how we line up. It's really hard to do with getting my hands out of your guys' way. Everything seems like it fits. We still have clearance. So let me go ahead and get our uh, cross slide bolted to our small end of our rod. We get our bearings separated. We will put a drop of green Loctite onto the shaft just to retain it. Make sure we have our crank centered side to side. I'll get this turned sideways, you know, where the cylinder is up here. You guys can look down it. We'll continue on. Okay, well, we've got our bearings set, and it's going to be really hard for you guys to see, but this surface right here and here, that is our bearing race, same as here and there. Our crank is centered right to where it wants to run, left to right. So what I'm going to do is put one drop of green Loctite 
just to retain the bearings on our crankshaft itself and then when we put our main caps back on that's going to retain the outside so all right i will get that green loctite put on there and probably go inside get something to eat come back out here and we'll finish assembling this and like i said we're just going to push these flywheels back on the way they were on there because this is just a test run then uh yeah well these are going to come back off <laughs> they need some work too and who knows what we're going to get into up here 10 to 1 this is glued on with you know that gray silicone but who knows all right let me put some of that on there i'll go inside get something to eat let this cure out, come back out together, we'll get after it. Well, there we are, guys. It's been about 45 minutes. Um, i got a full belly now, but we'll slide this one on here. And and being honest with you guys, I put a green Loctite drop over here on this side just to hold this flywheel. But, you know, just one drop, yeah, I think it'll be all right. So we have nice free motion. Let's get our eccentric strap put back on. And I don't know if you guys remember or not. Hopefully this will focus. But there's no flats and there's no slots. So we'll get that put back on there. We're going to lube it up. And uh, I'll do it right where it's sitting. We'll move it. And... Uh, We'll hook some air up to it. We're going to lubricate everything. And uh, hopefully we can make it run again. So sit tight. Let me get this eccentric strap put back on. and We'll get her figured out. Well, I've got the eccentric strap put back on. Hopefully I didn't move the engine. Because this is all I've done, guys. I probably did bump the camera. And you can see here this flywheel is still... Well, it, it it tries to grab, but it's, you know, just pretty much along for the ride. All right, let me get this turned sideways. Okay, and uh, I'll get the air compressor hooked up. I'll get you guys pulled out. I might as well do it right now so nobody can say, oh, you test ran it before or whatever. We'll get you guys moved. And, uh, no, I've, oh, you guys can see exactly what we're doing. I'm going to leave it right where it's at. I will oil this. Might as well do it while you guys are here. Because um, we're going to make sure that this thing runs. And, well, nobody else is going to know until you guys see it too. Fill up our mains, oil our eccentric, oil our crank, our big end, sorry guys, and uh, well, we're probably going to have an oil extravaganza up here, because I'm lubricating uh, the back side of our slide valve, we don't have any packing in there, but there. feels good to me so let me get the air compressor pumped up so you guys don't have to hear it we'll hook it up we'll see what we got okay guys well here's our air hose we're gonna put it over our inlet and uh well you guys remember the last video it wants to run I guess, in my opinion, backward. We'll set it in the center of its stroke. And, uh, well, here we go. Let's put some air to it. We'll see what happens. We'll watch it together. Promising.
I don't hear the knock that we had before. We still have to adjust our timing. And you know, we do have a leak down here. Well, at our inlet. bad running engine guys honestly we got a couple air leaks we had to fix but all in all we're getting there we'll just sit here and run in for a little bit we'll go from there seems like it's already been a little bit more pleased with running again so we let this run for half hour 45 minutes play with it again well it's been sitting out here running for oh hell damn near an hour still running the same direction our timing is about spot on but still run in the wrong direction and uh, well, I think our rattle is listen yeah I think that's admission so let's stop this we'll get it running the other direction set our timing we'll run it in well guys we've got it oh Pretty sure we have it timed in and uh, it's going to run the opposite direction of what it was. So yeah, to me this is the way an engine should run. They'll run either direction, but you know, hit and miss engines, you stand behind them, grab the flywheels and, you know, spin them that way. So I guess that's why I feel this should run that direction. So. All right, let's get some air to it. Once again, we're right in the center of our stroke. We'll get her plugged in and uh, see what happens. What a good sound. I like it, guys. Pinch back the air to it a little bit. Really nice. Well, guys, she runs, but she still needs a base. And uh, the paint color is good. The shine is good, but, uh, guys, I'm still really on the fence about painting this one. We still got to do our flywheel work, and, uh, huh, who knows what we're going to get into next. But, I think it's going to be that guy right there. Hopefully, <laughs> here's hoping, fingers crossed, that Croyle did his job, so... All right, well, hey, there you go, guys. No knocking. It runs well. Kind of wait to see what you guys want to see with this. And, and I still got to do the work on the flywheels. But Well, guys, I thought I would include this. What do you think? It's uh, Everybody wants a silent engine. It's not completely silent. I did duck the exhaust outside, but <laughs> pretty nice little engine. So, all right, guys. Well, hey, if you are interested in this one, let me know. Leave me a comment underneath and 
we can come up to something. So, all right. Hey, thanks again, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys aren't subscribed, well, let's put it here, right there. Click that button, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon. You guys are great.